Welcome to the World Tarot. This is a reading for the sign of Capricorn for the week starting the 31st of January to the 6th of February 2022. Holy Spirit, please show me the Capricorns who need to hear these messages the most for the coming week. Holy Spirit, show me the Capricorns who need to hear these messages the most for the coming week. Who needs to hear these messages the most? Holy Spirit, show me the Capricorns who need to hear these messages the most for the coming week. This is the first sign that doesn't want to come out. What's happening, Capricorn? Show me Capricorn, please. Show me Capricorn. Show me the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn doesn't want... Okay. Five of Cups. Capricorn could be sad. They could feel blocked emotionally. Their heart is blocked and they're sad. Five of Cups. You could have a lot of water in your chart too. You could have Scorpio. Okay, the Two of Pentacles when it came out. So we've got Scorpio, you, maybe Taurus too. So you might have a lot of fixed energy in your chart. Okay, so you are in two minds about making some kind of decision. You could be juggling something. You could be juggling something in your mind like you're regurgitating something. Some kind of sad thing that happened in your past. You keep uh, analyzing it and you could be stuck a bit. You could be a bit stuck in the mud. You could be stuck in victim mentality. You don't know how to move past some kind of pain from the past. Wow, Queen of Cups. You might, again, you might have a lot of water in your chart, like I said, maybe Scorpio, because this is kind of like a tower moment, the way that uh, the cards fell out. Yes, you also might have Aries and Virgo in your chart, so these could be your main signs here, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, or you could be dealing with somebody who has a mix of these signs. Also, you could be thinking about somebody, maybe a Pisces or somebody you uh, could have hurt in the past or who could have hurt you in the past. Or this could be you feeling hurt about somebody from your past, maybe an Aries, maybe a Virgo. So somebody could be very independent here, maybe you, maybe the other person. Holy Spirit, what's happening here? You might want to apologize to this person or you're hoping this person will apologize to you about something. So... But you feel like maybe you feel like this person is too independent, like they don't want or they want to be independent from you. Eight of Swords. You could be really stuck on this person. Ten of Pentacles. You could feel like this person is the person that you want to marry, to have stability with. That they're the ideal partner for you. Could be. What's the Eight of Swords? Clarify the Eight of Swords. Also, this person could be thinking that about you. So there you go. What's the Eight of Swords, please? Holy Spirit, clarify the Eight of Swords for Capricorn. What's the Eight of Swords? Clarify the Eight of Swords for Capricorn. You could also be working a lot, you know, maybe to try to get your mind off something. Ten of Wands. So the Eight of Swords is a burden. It's some kind of karmic cycle. It's um, something you can't let go of. Something you're very burdened by, but you can't let go of it. And you need to let go of it. So what are you burdened by? You could be guilty because right the first card I got is the guilty card here with the five of cups. Or you could feel it might not be guilty, it might be like poor me. You could feel like, oh, this person's hurt me so much. Why don't they understand me? Why did yeah. It could be the other way around. You could be thinking about how much this person has hurt you and you still can't get over them. You can't let them go. Okay. So what is your advice regarding this person, the situation here? There's definitely, this is definitely about love. This is somebody you, you love who could have hurt you or somebody you've hurt or both. Holy Spirit. Wow. Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords. There could have been betrayal here. Somebody could have been through a lot in this situation. But there could be a new beginning here. Maybe you need to free yourself from this situation. How are you going to re relieve yourself of this burden? How will you get... Um, how, would, how can you relieve yourself of this burden here? Do you see the Ace of Wands wanted to come out again? But it came out in reverse this time. Maybe, maybe you should reject this person if they come towards you. Maybe there's no new start here. Maybe you shouldn't start something again. Holy Spirit, 
Is this connection blocked here? Three of Wands. This talks about manifesting. Nine of Cups, manifesting a wish fulfillment. So what is your wish fulfillment? What? So you should manifest your wish fulfillment. You, you might need to manifest something else. Should you manifest another relationship? It's your decision, basically, with the Two of Swords. But again, it talks to me about some kind of blockage. A manifestation could be blocked. Maybe if you want to manifest anything with this person, it's blocked. Somebody's heart could be blocked. Holy Spirit, is there any way for this situation to come back together in a healthy way? Holy Spirit, is there any way for this situation that Capricorn... Yes, there is. With the King of Swords here. Ace of Cups. Yeah, there is a new beginning here. In love. There's a wish fulfillment. 19 is the sun. There's going to be... Something's going to be illuminated in this situation. Clarity is going to be had here. Somebody might even have a son. A child, right? A male son. Okay. Yes, Ace of Pentacles. There's going to be a pregnancy here. You're going to be with somebody and you're going to have a, a son. Maybe an Aries son. An Aries son. Somebody who has son in Aries. Also, you could be dealing with somebody with son in Aries. Or you're going to have a child who's a boy and he's going to have son in Aries. I don't know. Maybe this is a prediction for somebody. But there's a new beginning happening here. Maybe with this person that you're thinking of. Five of Wands, Knight of Wands. So there could have been some player-like behavior. Some kind of um, competition here. This could be... Somebody could have had a lot of partners or had a lot made somebody compete maybe you made this person compete for your attention with others somebody could have been overly sexual also eight of wands what's with what's the message about sexuality here holy spirit clarify the message about sexuality clarify the message about Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Somebody could have been a Casanova here. He could, he, whoever he is, he could have seen women like hookers, that women are disposable. But maybe this person has grown up and realized that this is not how you should treat women. Maybe this person has been treating women badly in the past. They could have seen women as sex objects only. But now they want to have stability. They want to have love and stability with somebody. They might want to have children. So this person could have grown up. This could be you because this is Capricorn. This could be talking about you if, if you're a Capricorn man. Or if you're dealing with a Capricorn man. Or any man. Anything else? Oh my god, tower moment. Okay, somebody could have Scorpio in their chart. You or them. So, there could have been tower moments between you and this person in the past. You might know about this person's turbulent past, whatever. Can you trust this person? Can these two people in this context trust each other? <laughs> Holy Spirit, can these two people in the context given trust each other? Well, King of Wands... King of Wands is Leo, is strength. King of Wands could also be kind of a player, but just an older player, right? Because we've got the young player and we've got the perpetual bachelor here. Eight of Cups. I think somebody might need to walk away and end this. Hmm. Should this relationship end? Should any hope leave? Should we abandon all hope here? Holy Spirit, should these people abandon hope here? Although you are shown that you're supposed to be in a relationship with this person, have a child, maybe that's what the plan was supposed to be all along, but um, I don't think somebody's ready for this. I don't think everyone, everyone, I don't think anyone in this situation will ever be ready for a serious commitment. They might just say that they want that, but they don't, they're not ready for it. Whew. Holy Spirit, 
can this situation be saved? Or should should this situation be saved? Should this situation be saved? Those are both in reverse. Seven of Wands, reverse, four of Pentacles. There are no po proper boundaries, I think, in the situation. Or somebody needs to put their guard down. Somebody could be very guarded with... Because the Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles in the upright is like somebody's guarded. Somebody uh, is afraid, anxious. So there's a lot of anxiety over the situation. Somebody doesn't trust in the situation. Can they trust or not? Can they trust whoever... Six of Pentacles. Yes, they can, okay? We've got the Fool and the Six of Pentacles. This can be a balanced, happy relationship here. Yes, they can trust. Take a leap of faith, right? The Fool trusts in the universe. They trust their intuition. They follow their path, you know, they're in love and in life. Okay, so there you go. That's the message I've got here. Either for Capricorn or the Cross Watchers. So there you go. I hope this helps. Bye.